UGD coming at you with the range report on the Glock 40 10 millimeter MOS. MOS, yeah, this thing uh, it is ginormous. And to give you a quick rundown, six inch barrel. Uh, this thing is almost over nine inches long. It is designed to be a comp gun. It's got the MOS system, which is this plate right here, which you can remove and drop your optics on it. Uh, 15 plus one. Yeah, 15 plus one. Look at that. A 10 millimeter. That is absolutely insane. And, and the fellow we bought it from and, and what I've read online, uh, use these for deer hunting. Yeah. So apparently if that deer gets behind a, uh, oh, let's say an oak tree, you still got them. Yeah, this thing is a hammer. And uh, it takes a man to shoot it, and, and I did my best. I honestly did, guys, but this thing just absolutely beat me up. I'm going to throw up a video of a close-up of me shooting this hot rod. This thing is an absolute hammer. Now, this thing is dead on accurate. I mean, I was able to hit what I wanted to hit uh, for the most part. Only got one complaint on the gun. Yeah, one complaint. And uh, here, I'll show it to you. Look at the sights on this thing. Look how much space and gap there is with the front sight and the back sight. Yeah, come on, Glock. You can do a little bit better than that. I mean, that front blade ought to be able to fill that backside out. Now, I understand that a lot of guys are buying this are going to drop optics on it, but for uh, you know a broke dude like me that just wants to play around a little bit, that's a uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Compare that to a uh, 19 I've got here. Yeah, that's second gen. Drink that in, fellas. I just picked this up and it is beat up, full on second genness. But look at the difference in the fill here. Now, grant these are night sights, but yeah, see that's filled up. So it looks like to me that uh, Glock just basically took the uh, 1917 sights and just stuck them out another, uh, you know, two inch and a half, and it's just not quite filling. So yeah, a little bit of complaint there when you're trying to shoot three inch discs at 20 yards, you know, you're going to have to struggle a little bit. But the gun does perform. Now, the other thing that I struggled with, and this is not a complaint of the gun, I mean, it's just the way it's built. My hands are small, and it felt like, and I'll roll in some more footage, it felt like I was trying to regrip reposition my grip each time and you know to me yeah i could hold the gun it was controllable i think the weight up here really really helped that out quite a bit but it just felt like i'm really struggling and that's not a complaint of the gun because it is a 10 millimeter it does take a man i've got little girl hands so yeah it's not a gun problem that's a that's a ugd problem right there but all in all this hot rod is just super cool it's fun to have an opportunity to own something like this take it to the range uh, let your buddy shoot it. You know, if you've never shot a 10 millimeter, it is a bit of a more horse than you're going to find in a, a nine millimeter. Uh, and, and frankly, uh, you know, in the right gun, it, it's about like a 45, maybe a little bit more thump, a little more gas coming out of there. But uh, if you're in the market for a, you know, a, a range gun, yeah, this is probably a fun range gun if you if you don't mind spending the money. Uh, if you're looking for something to go hunting with, <laughs> absolutely, this is a deer slayer if I've ever seen one. Comp gun, you know, if you can handle 10 millimeter in competition shooting, uh, go for it, my man. But I think there's one area that this thing really would serve well at, and that is uh, home defense. Yeah, if you're choosing to use a pistol for home defense, uh, you know, you just can't beat that capacity. 15 plus one at 10 millimeter. You throw some, uh, let's say, some Liberty in there. Uh, you've got a scorcher coming out of that barrel. Plus, you've got your rail down here. You can add your light. So I don't know if you could do any better than that for a, a 10 millimeter home defense gun. So this is UGD bringing you the range report of this hot rod. Yeah, Glock 40, MOS, 10 millimeter. I did put on my man panties, and uh, yeah, this gun whooped me. Hey, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you think that, uh, meh, I gotta go back to 380s and 22s, hit the dislike, and please subscribe. You wanna die with a man's gun, not a little CC gun like this.